In this tutorial, we are going to learn how to change Conky to match your hardware from the default that comes with it. So, first thing you want to do is check the number of processors you have. So you click on System Monitor, make sure you're on the System tab, and on this line it shows the number of processors. Here I have four. If you have a two core, then it'll have two. If you have a single core, there won't be anything here. Okay. So now we want to go to places, file system, etc. And I go down to copy. Now you want to make sure you have permissions to work in the folder. So you go to scripts browse as root, then your password, and click on the conky, right click, go to properties, click on the permissions tab, and on others, make sure you have it, create and delete, read and write, I always check this, and then click apply. Okay. Now I also like to do this to my user share and then your icon folder and themes folder and set the properties there. That way if you get new themes or icons you can easily put them in there. Another good one is the on folder so if you get more themes you can write themes there okay well, let's get back to the conky so now we go into the conky folder and we want to click on the configuration file and display it okay let's get it to where we can see it Now what you have in here is the basic things you want to look at is here are your CPUs. So if you had a four core you got one, two, three, four starting with zero. And since I have a four core I want all four to show. So these little number symbols means they're not going to show up over here. Well, we want our four core, so we backspace that and eliminate the fourth one. Now, if you just double click save, you'll automatically see your changes show up. So we just double click her, and when it comes back up, now I have all four cores. Okay. Now, we scroll down to where you have the Ethernet, which is here, and the Wi Fi's. And the reason I have to is my WLAN0 is my internal Wi Fi, and this is a USB Wi Fi that I use all the time. So, and I don't plug into an Ethernet, so on mine, if I didn't want that to show, I could just come here, do the numbers to the beginning of the lines, and I'll get those edited out real quick. Take it all the way down to where I get rid of the lines where I have my Wi Fi. And we're there. So if I just double click and save, you'll see the Wi Fi is gone now. One thing I did want to do though, I took too many off. So I just save it to add that line back. 
now this line is back and that will have my internal or it will get rid of ethernet but leave my two Wi-Fi's now if I scroll down one thing we want to change is we no longer use the Thea name just the number so it's 2.1 double click your save and right here it now has the version uh, let's see if you don't have a laptop you can eliminate the battery which you would go back up here to where the battery is and you could just add a number symbol here and the battery wouldn't show you can do the same thing with temperature any of the lines if you put the number in front of it number symbol double click the save you'll see now if you'd like to change the color of Conkey you can go here use an X code or hex code which is a six digit number representing a collar for ours we'll use AD 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 just to show you a change double click the save and now it's gray simple enough you can find the hex code just by googling hex codes hex color codes and you'll find all kinds of lists with different shades and we'll just switch her back to white real quick double click and save and there you go now I like to keep mine to a minimum and say since I mostly use my external USB Wi-Fi adapter I usually eliminate the rest of these from showing so I have a very minimal Conky. I have all the information I need for the hardware and temperatures that I like. And still have a minimal look to it. And that's how you change it. And that covers our tutorial for working on Conky to match your hardware.